My pawn moved admirably through the AG's lab. And with just a few bad moves, the game proceeded ahead. Unfortunately, I underestimated the fierce loyalties of those no-good Exocore players. It was the most incredible fight I ever saw. He just grabbed the guy, bit his ear off, and spit it on the mat. How often does that happen? During a boxing match? Never. <laughs> This is Sandman Actual. Roger your last HQ. Commencing final approach procedures to base. Any sign of the others? Over. Negative, Sandman Actual. Epsilon has gone out with their MIA. The special unit is being deployed to secure the site and evacuate survivors as soon as possible. Over and out. Maybe we should have waited after all. Not a chance. There's no way the carriers would have withstood that storm for a moment longer. Besides, I didn't come all this way to fail. <laughs> fail? Uh, right, right, right. You know, for a second there, I forgot how you do things, Major. You sit there. All ladylike to keep that immaculate uniform for spick and span while real soldiers go into battle. Uh, too bad it has to be at the expense of real men with bona fide families. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Crimson Skulls, man. You're all the fucking same. <laughs> I can see why you chose this boy to be your sidekick. You both got a lot in common. For starters, just think about it. You're both cowardly little bitches that leave comrades to die. <laughs> what did you say to me? You just watch your fucking mouth. Knock it off, you two. Epsilon or no Epsilon. Our orders stand. He's right. You squawk way too much. Listen carefully, David. Because I won't repeat this again. I know what it's like to lose somebody and not be able to do a goddamn thing about it. But you can't go on blaming yourself. You made a judgment call on that plane. Otherwise, you'd both be dead. And I think he would have done the same in your position. Are we clear? If you say so, Major. It's just... Every time I close my eyes, I can still see him. He's burning up and screaming for me to somehow help him. And I can't. I know, but sometimes you just gotta move forward. Let go and focus on the present moment. You cut through that storm with your fangs out. You got golden hands, kid. I'm impressed. And now that your scars are more or less healed, I'm sure you'll go back to flying solo any day now. Fuck me. Hey, Major. You looking to lose the payload now that we're so close to base? God damn it. Raven, take the controls. I'm gonna go check and make sure supports are secure. That storm really pushed them to the limit. Yes, sir. Fuck's sakes, kid. Your file says you're the real deal. Took an SR-91 from the Aurora program to hypersonic Mach 6. That's a hell of a lot more than most pilots can say. By all rights, you should be able to fly this toy with your eyes closed. You know, I pushed for you to join the Skulls, even after what happened at Dryden. Only place I want to see you falling is on the mat after our bouts. Okay. Now, focus, and keep this bird up in the sky. You got it, Major. I won't let you down.
This is Sam Walker. I'm out at the game tower at Hunter's Pass. Come in, over. Keenside Police, Kenneth speaking. Go ahead, Sam. Oh, hey, Ken. I don't want to rain on your parade, but some chopper nearly took my head off not five minutes ago. Do you know anything about that? Over. Right. Sorry, Sam. Those big shots called in last night to schedule transport passing through the area. Night exercise or something. In and out. Real hush-hush. You should be safe to go back up there. Just keep your head down. I read you, Ken. Although next time, uh, you know, I'd be mighty grateful for any notice. Over and out. <sighs> hey, baby, it's me. Generator. Oh, yeah. I remember to turn off the lights in the house. Otherwise, you'll have to refuel again before daybreak. I know. Um, Sam, I'm not sure if I'll ever get used to living out in these woods. It's just so isolated. So, why'd you call, baby? Need help booking some rascally raccoons? <laughs> Funny. You know, maybe. I'm still on duty. Listen, I was just on the radio with Ken, so I thought I'd chicken in on you. And... I feel bad about not being able to take you to the Cherry Blossom Feast. I know how much it means to you. It's just... Well, you know how the night shift works. I know all too well. Ken, did something happen? No, no. no nothing to worry about. I just had a near miss in the tower involving some bozo in a helicopter. And... H hold on a second. Shit! I, I can't find my meds! Uh, I must have dropped him when that chopper went past. Uh, God only knows where they ended up. That's not good, Sam. You know you need those for... Don't... Don't start that again. I'm fine. I can manage it. I've been living with... with this for a long time now. Sam, you know what happened the last time you didn't take them? <sighs> How could I forget? With you constantly reminding me. Listen, I, I, I gotta go, baby, okay? Don't worry about a thing. It's just a few more hours. Go to bed and get some rest. I'll be home in the morning. I love you. I... I can manage it. I can manage it. Just... like... last time. Uh, Major! Uh, what's going on here? Uh, David! Help me, please! Uh, Go through, please! Put the uh, weapon down! No fucking way! Talk to me, sir. Uh, what the uh, hell is going on? Uh, Alex, he broke a vial in my face. Uh, Enough chatter. Uh, Step away from us uh, right now. Uh, uh, God damn you, Lee. Well, well. <laughs> Who would have thought? Tonight's the night that you finally fail a mission. Lo and behold, the great Sandman <laughs> isn't as great after all, is he? <laughs> and who would have thought? Tonight's also the night when you die. You know, for what it's worth, I can honestly say, I had the real displeasure of serving under you, Major. Oh, and don't worry, I'll take care of these. Farewell. What son of a bitch? Oh, oh shit, didn't see that coming.
Damn. The gas has already invaded the entire town. The mask will not hold up for long. I have to find a place to take refuge. seems to be the ideal place to take cover.
Sandman, this was not part of the plan!
like it's gonna explode. Uh, uh, why didn't the guy in rotation wake me? Uh, uh. Oh yeah, today it's up to Cooper. It doesn't surprise me that he's late again. Hey, Sam Walker here. I'm at the tower at the Hunter's Pass. Anybody out there? Over. Thing is, my replacement hasn't arrived yet. Anyone know what happened to Cooper? USFS Control. Anyone read me? Anybody? God damn it! Hey, baby, it's me again. Sam, finally! I've been trying to reach you! What's happened? <sighs> Sorry, uh, I must have passed out. Hell of a nightmare, too. Baby, I, I don't think I'm doing too well without my pills. It's only been a few hours, and I'm already starting to feel... Sam, just come home right away. What? Is something wrong? Talk about what? Sweetie? Damn! Damn. It's already been several hours since I took my pills. I hope I can handle it. Damn. What the hell is going to happen this time? It'll be better for me to go. Cooper, damn you. I'm not going to cover you this time.
No, the hallucinations are already coming. There's no trace of Cooper's car, but where the hell is he? Now, what did I do with my car keys? Shit. I must have left them at the tower. It only took five minutes and one incompetent play to twist my perfect game into an imperfect mess. Even so, Kay would have been proud of the fate we thrust upon keen sight. But I still had work to do and players to silence. Now was my turn to make a move. Why the hell are the lights off? Aw, oh, come on. You didn't leave the generator on all night again?
Sweetie? Sweetie? HQ. <coughs> Do you receive me? Over. Delta 4RG0 pilots have betrayed the company. Attempt to steal samples recovered from Aegis during the flight. Following this conduct, I had to kill Major Sandman. While the second pilot leave it is to be considered missing. <laughs> Agent Crane has been mortally wounded. You will not kill me. I have the research data and the last remaining Pollock. Updated. The order is to reach the rendezvous point at Sacred Heart Hospital. Scheduled extraction for 10.30 p.m. Zulu. Maximum priority for the delivery of research data. Secondary priority for the recovery of... Damn. They cut me out. It does not matter. I know where you're going, Agent. No, 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 no. Oh, God, baby, no. Oh, wake up. Wake up, please. Wake up. Why? Why did I insist on taking you with me? It's all. This is all my fault. I'm so fucking stupid. I should. I should have just left you back in the city with... I'm so sorry, baby. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> No, this isn't real. This isn't happening. <sighs> Baby, you just, you just stay right here. I'll come back for you, I promise. I just gotta find the fucker who did this to you. I'll find him myself. The Sacred Heart Hospital. He's going there. And then he'll be there.
The bastard. He took my jeep. Wait a minute. By passing with the funicular, I can still get to the city before him. Hey, you there! What? Is that you, Roland? Ain't you supposed to be crippled for life? everybody acting like that? Have they all lost their damn minds? I need to get back to the city to... Uh, uh. Oh no. Brad. What the hell is going on here?
Yeah. This piece of junk works. I'm coming for you, you son of a bitch. You'll regret it when I find your sorry ass. So, and what happened next would jeopardize my plan. HQ, HQ, this is Liev. I've reached the extraction point. Standing by for evac. Over. We're ready to leave. An Alpha team has been dispatched to your location. Hold position and get rid of any hostiles. There's no hostiles in the area. Over and out. Not so fast, Agent. You really think you can walk away from this? <laughs> Sandman. <laughs> Son of a bitch. How is this possible? Your guess is as good as mine. But aren't you the least bit curious of how your little stunt affected me? Oh, come on, Leaf. You still got one more round to show me something before you throw in the towel. <laughs> nah, I'm throwing it in. See, I've got a flight to catch. And to be honest, I don't give a fuck about boxing. <laughs> you throw your hands pretty fast, Major. I'll give you that. But tell me this. Can you throw your hands faster than a bullet? Hmm? No, no, no. How the mighty have fallen. Without the safety of your helo, your knee deep in shit, and your neck high in deeper shit on a crash course to soiling those pretty hands of yours. Tell me this, does it ever cross your mind what you did to me at Groom Lake? No? Well, this time, you're stuck on my battlefield, bitch. And you'll be the one bleeding out, not me. Oh, I've been looking forward to this for so fucking long. Cause when it's all said and done, you'll be remembered as a traitor. Who oh, is this squawk too much? You know, life is really just like boxing. It's like your opponent into thinking you'll do one thing, then you do another. You got only yourself to blame for this, Lee. After all, you're the one that made me this way. Oh, come on, Lee. Stop shaking. You look ridiculous. <laughs> Knockout. You know, I could have let you die back in 94. Yeah, letting you die would have saved us both a headache. The state of the board had gotten worse, and Sam Walker was officially the next mouth to stitch shut. Especially now that I had lost control of my pawn and the ability to recover our precious samples. <laughs>